So what is polypeptide synthesis? Polypeptide synthesis is the production of polypeptides which are essential for the making of proteins. These proteins are made by specialised amino acids that are designed to suit the body's needs. For example, when cells die, they need to be replaced by new cells that are genetically identical to the previous ones. Transcription is the first stage of polypeptide synthesis. T equals thymine, G equals guanine, A equals adenine, C equals cytosine, and U equals uracil. Transcription is the process where the DNA gets unraveled by an enzyme called RNA polymerase. This allows the messenger RNA to successfully add the anticodons complementary to one side of the DNA. The mRNA then takes the information from the DNA and leaves the nucleus through a pore and goes into the cytoplasm where translation can take place. Translation is the next stage of polypeptide synthesis. Once the mRNA is in the cytoplasm, it attaches to the endoplasmic reticulum of a ribosome, which is the site of polypeptide synthesis. The ribosomes read the mRNA and tell the transfer RNA to get the building blocks for protein, amino acids. The tRNA links to the mRNA strand and produces codons. Codons are made by the tRNA adding the base pairs in groups of three, as shown in the video. Once the tRNA pairs with the anticodons, the tRNA leaves as a third joins, leaving behind the amino acid. The amino acids create a peptide chain by linking together with a peptide bond. You are able to find which amino acids have been made by using a table such as this one. For instance, a codon with the bases CAG read for the amino acid glutamine. Another example could be UAG, which equals a stop codon and that is where the polypeptide chain ends. Now this polypeptide chain can form a protein. And that is the end of polypeptide synthesis.